636 this morning and three Des Moines designers are taking on the fast fashion industry by providing more sustainable options for local consumers. Their work will be showcased in an upcoming fashion show as well. WHL 13's Teodora Mito joins us now live outside of Mainframe Studios in Des Moines with more on this story. Good morning, Teodora. Good morning, Justin and Kaylin. Yeah, I'm outside of Mainframe Studios where three local designers have separate businesses, yet they all share one thing in common, and that is that they're working towards a more sustainable future. Bowling, Natalie Giroux and Nakia Whitfield are local designers in Des Moines, making the earth cleaner one stitch at a time. They are all part of the slow fashion industry, one that works directly with the consumer, producing high quality clothing while reducing waste. Giroux used to work for the fast fashion industry. How would I feel going back to the old way? Awful. She has now built a business rooted in designing more regenerative clothing. I'm proud. My fabrics, I'd say half of them, are reducing carbon emission. Why is that? Because there's ground cover. They're not tilling. It's, it's uh, using no pesticides. So from seed to the final fabric is with the stewardship for this planet. Bowling, like Jarrell, also creates sustainable clothing. The two are planning their second annual fashion show, showcasing their eco-friendly pieces. I'm the type of person that like, I cry during the Super Bowl because I'm like so proud of the players to get to that point. So it's like the fashion show is kind of like Natalie and I's Super Bowl, and it's just like all this hard work and the stress and the anxiety, <sighs> it's all worth it. While Whitfield doesn't use the same clean grown fabrics, she says only buying the amount of fabric that is needed is a great way to reduce waste. Slow fashion is something that I feel is coming back into the forefront with a lot of even celebrities supporting more indie, indie designers versus more big brands. Fast fashion may push certain trends, but Jero says that we are the only experts. Everyone has their sense of style. The marketing of the fast fashion does wants to make you think that you don't have a sense of style. Trust your instinct. When it looks good on you, even though it's not the trend, trust it. Mainframe Studios will host a fashion show in September during its first Friday's event, and that's where Nakia Whitfield will showcase her pieces. As for the sustainable fashion show, that will take place on October 12th at the River Center. Love to see these local designers making such an impact and leading the way towards uh, more sustainable products, something that we can do in our everyday lives. Thank you, Teodoro Mito, reporting live outside of Mainframe Studios. Thank you.